this is Lewis with Geek Open Hand. Today I'm going to be doing a very unique video, so stay tuned. Now you can tell by the title, then let me tell you in person. Basically, I'm going to be submerging two different phones, or maybe three, maybe three different phones inside this bucket of water or bowl of water, whatever you want to call it. And the first one, I'm going to be doing it under um, the Joy Factory case right here that we were sent along with um, this case that's gonna be drowning so that would be very exciting and I'm gonna get right back to you after I put the phone inside and welcome back so the case is inside there successfully and as tight as I can get it inside it before I drop it of course um, so I'm gonna submerge it and if this is successful I will do another phone and another phone just for your enjoyment so let's waste no more time let's put this inside of there So I took the phone out of um, the water. Now I'm gonna take out the case. Now hopefully it's completely dry. I'm gonna do this on camera with you. So bear with me. Right. Going out of the case. The foam appears to be completely dry with no water inside at all. Oh, and that's very impressive especially from um, this waterproof case right here as well as this being um, very high in quality case for the iPhone 5. Welcome to part 2. So here is my Nokia 5230 Neuron from um, T-Mobile and this is thick activated since I have uh, the Lumia 810 so I don't care if this get wet or not but I do want to sell it so let's hope it don't get wet. Um, let's, I'll be back after I put it inside this case. So stay tuned. And we're back. So the Nokia 5230 no round from T-Mobile is inside the case successfully. And since this is a resistance touch screen, I can use the device without having to um, take it out the case, of course. But let's see after putting some water, what would happen. So three, two, one. Welcome back. So I just took the Nokia 5230 Neuron from T-Mobile out of the water. Before I take out the case, I want to show you on camera, of course. So let's take out the case. So please do bear with me. Take it out and look right there. Again, another successful attempt to put it with water, but there's no water inside it at all. And the device, of course, is still working, but still no water inside it. And that's very, very good. See, so as you can see, no dripping out of it at all. 